I believe on the phone. Are you are you there, Mark Marin? Yes, I am, Sam. I, I, I have very little time. I'm busy promoting my book and my television show. Uh, I'm in between interviews right now with major press uh, uh, operations. But, you know, what do you need? I can try to you know, be present for you for a few minutes. Well, are you still are you still trying to sell Jerusalem syndrome? Is that book still <laughs> is it still in print? <laughs> Now I'm trying to sell that book you wrote with that guy. What, what was that called? Uh, what was the name of that? I believe you're talking about Fubar. Yeah, Fubar. Um, what do you have a book out now too? Yes, I do. Who wrote uh, that for you? Intern or what? No, that was your book. I wrote my book all all by myself. I remember when you were writing your book, there seemed to be very a lot of people involved. You know, people running around with papers, younger people. Um. No, my book is a book of essays that I wrote uh, you know, uh, on my own, based on my life. Oh, really? That's a shock. What? Why is that a shock? I don't understand. I'm just surprised. You, you don't strike me as someone who's that introspective or uh, would write about uh, your own life. I know. It's surprising. A lot of people were surprised because they were like, what did you write about? It's basically me and they... they yeah, it, it, it stunned a lot of people, which is good because people are excited. They're anticipating something new from a guy who rarely talks about himself at all. Now, Mark, let me ask you this. What, what is going on with your TV show? Uh, I feel like it's, it, was, it, it came and went. I feel like I already missed it. No, you just saw a trailer. Maybe you got the vibe of it, and in your mind, you thought, well, that's enough. I hope that's all of it. Has it launched um, yet, or what? May 3rd. Oh, May 3rd, huh? And, you know, I got a sense. I mean, the reason why I want to speak to you today... Mark, there was a couple yeah. of reasons. Um, I want to talk about, uh, you know, what's going on with this uh, podcast suit that had you all worked up. Uh, I got a, a letter, too, from that uh, patent troll. Um, yeah. But um, I got, you know, I'm on your, well, somebody put me on your email distribution list, I guess. And the last yeah. email that I, I saw from you looked, frankly, uh, was a little bit concerning. You seemed... You seemed in that email to be a little bit uh, discombobulated. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm a little discombobulated around the patent troll thing. Well, you know, I went through a lot of panic, and I and I got, you know, I was uh, I was furious because, you know, given that I don't, you know, uh, talk about politics, you know, hardly at all anymore. The, uh, this thing seemed to have direct effect on me. It seemed to have, uh, you know, there was no justice to it. It infuriated me about the system about the patent system, about trolling, about predatory business practices, shakedowns, coercion. And, uh, you know, I got my fist up in the air and I was waving it around. I pulled a lot of podcasters together. We had sort of a meeting. Uh, we brought the EFF into it. And uh, we brought this other guy, Drew Curtis, into it. Uh, people started talking about it publicly a little. Uh, there was some press. And now, like, what's happened is, you know, I feel like I've done what I can do. And I talked to Julie over at the EFF you know, every week or so, uh, just to figure out what's going on and try to get a sense of what's going on. But being that you and I just received letters, uh, it's sort of a, it, it's a difficult, it, it, it's a bad place to be. But, you know, the fight is being fought, you know, by other entities. So I'm just sort of waiting to see how those fights go and seeing what the next, you know, sort of turn of events is. I know that Drew Curtis is, you know, talking about, you know, organizing a fund and, and also getting some lawyers to do some work. Who's uh, Drew Curtis? Drew Curtis is uh, the guy from FARC. He's the guy that did the TED Talk on actually ah. beating a patent troll. Okay. Uh, you know, he sort of wants to, uh, you know, establish himself a bit as the as the patent uh, warrior, the patent troll warrior, the slayer of patent trolls. But he's also raising awareness. And I just think that, you know, it's one of those situations where, you know, somebody who can speak to this, you know, with some... Um, Authority. credibility uh, around the, the sort of horrible inconsistencies in what seems to be the patent laws and, and, and the way patents can be used. And it, it's just so predatory and horrible that I was consumed with anxiety. That's why you probably saw me discombobulated. It was as if I was losing my house, uh, you know, because I, I took it so personally and I got it so paranoid and so aggravated. But I think because of that, you know, uh, and because of just the realities of it, there seems to be some action being taken and, and it's encouraging. Well, that's the part that I'm most interested in, the, the consuming, the anxiety that's consuming you, because I feel like, uh, you know, over the past 
year and a half, two years with your success, three years, uh, that you've been able to get to a sort of um, a more sort of uh, stable uh, an emotional equi- equilibrium, if you will. I mean, uh, definitely sort of a la- less, you know, to be honest, uh, entertaining place. Um, but that's fine. I mean, I'm happy. Uh, but it's good to see that anxiety come back. Yeah, it's always been there, Sam. I just, I'm trying to sort of uh, parse it out a little bit, you know, just put it out in small packages, save it up. Now, do you, th- uh, do you think part of it is the show, though? I mean, the launch of the show, it's going to be on IFC May 5th. It's in a month. Uh, May you 3rd. did. Uh, May, what is it? May third. Yeah, they've already moved it up. That's good, and yeah. <laughs> they. And so, how many episodes did you did? You did ten episodes, right? I did ten episodes. Yes. So it's going to run May and June into July, and the th- yeah. I mean, the real question is, does it get a pickup? Right. Yeah, I mean, look, I I, I am anxious about. You know how you know uh, how it's going to be received. I think yeah. that's normal, and it's the same with the book as well. But yeah, we shot ten episodes, and I'm I'm really happy with them, and and it's definitely, uh, you, you know, w- the vision that we we created for the show was something that you know I was part of, and and you know I I wrote on it, and I produced it, and acted in it, and I'm, and I'm you know I'm thrilled about it because I never thought I would do that. You of course have had you know a lot of experience doing shows that have really gone nowhere. And, and so like, you know, this might not have been as exciting for you as it was for me, who had who'd been sort of dying to, to do this and, and had given up on that opportunity. Right. Whereas you, I think really, you know, squandered a lot of those opportunities. That's true. Um, and, but you know, you did some good stuff. It was funny stuff in retrospect. Well, but, as, as someone who has been there uh, before, I mean, you know, for me, I think when those uh, opportunities, either I squandered them or they just sort of fizzled away, uh, it was not as traumatic. As for someone right. like yourself, who never thought that you would see this day, and that's what I'm concerned about, or, act, or you know, I mean, what what happens if you don't get a pickup on this? I mean, I haven't seen the show. I don't know. I assume it's pretty good, but you know, you know the vagaries yeah, well, of the I market. Mean, what, I, I, I'm not really thinking about that so much because really, yeah, I, I right. str- let me. I'll tell you honestly, what 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 is happening to me is that. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited about the 10 we did. And because it was all very new to me, you know, I would be thrilled to get an opportunity to do more and, you know, and do it, you know, better or do it differently or, you know, just do, you know, make notes on, you know, what I learned the first time or what we thought the strengths were. I mean, that all sounds very exciting to me. I hope it happens. Um, but I'm just sort of, I, I'm more curious right now to see, you know, how this, this first run uh, plays and, and, and so it's I, all just know, academic and, and for you. Is that what you're claiming? You're claiming it's just academic. You're just curious to see how it goes, but you don't feel like they're, the stakes are huge. I mean, I, I don't know. Are they huge? I'm 49 years old. You know, I, I've been through disappointment before. Right. Yeah, I mean, the stakes are huge on a personal level. That's what uh, I'm talking will, about. Will I, yeah, will, I mean, I'm talking about I a survive? personal level. I don't think, uh, as, from a society-wide level, I don't think the stakes are quite as huge. No, I well, well, that's interesting because I think they are. <laughs> I think that that if this doesn't go, it's an indicator that 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 certainly things are much worse than we all thought, aren't they? Right, right. that's possibly true. Yes, I mean, I imagine, but I, I just got to think that, like, when you're looking at the last bite at the apple, uh, you you obviously want to be able to savor it. Well, I I I, I do, but I, I am having. Uh, a lot of anxiety, and I'm just, uh, you know, I, I, but also I'm, I'm very excited. And, uh, but yeah, I'm nervous, man. What do you, what do you want from me? I mean, I'm not really thinking about. Well, it would have been nice. A cameo would have been nice. Well, that'll happen. That was the season two episode where, where you and I, uh, you know, you know, we, we, we sort of script out this weird kind of tension. Right. Um, and, and we, you know, we sort of, have this mild, you know, jealousy of each other for different reasons, mm-hmm. and we never really show it. We just kind of push each other's buttons, you know, until there's an explosion of some kind, and then ultimately, we, you know, we don't know, you know, where the relationship stands, and then we maybe do a second episode. All right. Well, I like it. Hold on. That's a breaking news. I will be included in the second season. I think you probably would have upped your chances for a second season had we done that in the first season, but I guess that's a creative decision that was up to you to make. 
Wait, what do you want? I mean, it's like you don't live in L.A. I, you know, I was, we were, you know, we were casting. Three hundred dollar flight. Three hundred dollar flight. Yeah, but we were casting, and, and there was a lot of uh, people that. Oh well, were, you're not familiar yeah, with my work. No, I, I, I could have sent you a demo working. reel. No, I, I've seen the demo reel. I, I think I have old old things of Break Room Live where we went through most of your work. And and you know, I, all right. Well, you know, you want the Some, truth. I brought your name up, and quite honestly, the network was not excited. IFC was not excited. <laughs> IFC was not excited. <laughs> really? No, no, just the general network. Yeah, it was just the general network. Oh, network. oh, you're talking about from, Hollywood was not excited. Yeah, from, from the history of television, uh, the the general network noticed that they weren't excited about the the the, the possibility of a Sam Cedar cameo, and I yeah. and I I fought for you, buddy. I fought for you. You know, I got to say that uh, Benjamin told me that his uh, niece was at school and her teacher is using WTF, brought it up. What are you, what are you calling the show? You still calling it what if, or what is it? What is it? It's called Not Louie. Okay. And, um, oh, I got another story about well, you say Louie, but um, he, the teacher was talking about the show. And Benjamin's niece was in class, and the teacher was explaining what the show was. And it's Mark Marin, this guy, um, you know, having to explain who you were and uh, the nature of the uh, the podcast. And he has all sorts of uh, famous people on it, like David Cross, uh, Louis C.K., and Sam Cedar. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Which is ironic yeah. because. I don't think I've really gotten a full interview on that uh, on your show. I mean, I had the little guesty thing that was locked in the vault on a live show, but I I just thought that was funny, and not well, funny, ha ha, but here, peculiar. I, I'm more than I, I'm more than happy to have you on my show. You know, you came out in you know uh, I, I believe that you used my studio for something. Well, yeah, that was nice for you used... to rent me your studio, but I'm just saying I'm talking about being on the show. Yeah, I want you to. I want you to come on the show, and the next time you're in LA, perhaps to do the second season of Marin, we can try to find some time uh, for you to sit down. But you know, we're talking about an hour where we have a, a balanced conversation about you. I got no problem with that. Um, I got. I got well, a lot to talk about. You do? Yes. Incidentally, thank you for the uh, wonderful baby gift uh, on my. Uh, you know, for for Saul, my new son. Oh, you got the text? No, actually, I didn't even get the text. <laughs> oh, that's all right. I wouldn't worry. I'm about very, it. I'm very, I'm very happy for you. How is the baby? Uh, you know, like a baby. He just uh, he poops, he cries, he doesn't sleep. That's what babies sounds do. Having a good time with it. Yeah, yeah. No, it's great. It's great. Yeah, sounds like I, I, you know, I know you well enough to know when you're saying great in a way that you mean it. Yeah. No, that is my enthusiastic <laughs> great. <laughs> Uh, you so, know, the, uh oh, the show is called Marin, Sam, and I'm and I and, and seriously, and, and hold on, why is somebody calling me from uh, from El Monte, California? I have to go do an interview, dude. Can we? Can I go? Are you serious? Who, who's going? You going to do an interview from El Monte, California? I don't know what it is. You want to hold on? Here, yeah, watch hold on. Find out who it is. All right, all right. This is ridiculous. Hello. Oh, this is who's that? Is it still you, Sam? Oh, uh, hi, uh, uh, Mark Marin, please. <laughs> Yeah, hello. Who's I'm there? calling from uh, WVOR in El Monte, California. <laughs> Hi, how you doing? It's Mark Marin. Great. Uh, so, well, tell us about Maron. Yeah, this new television Marin, program. TV show. Yeah, it's on uh, May 3rd, IFC. And what about this yeah. book we keep hearing so much about? These essays on you. What's that called? Maron as that's well? Called, no, that's called Attempting Normal. Uh, it's a mm. collection of essays about my life. And, Not an and eye catcher. So Hey, you know, let, hold on a minute. I got to tell Sam Cedar that I'm done with him. Can you hold on one second? You sure, you got it. <laughs> Hello, Sam. No, still have Sam? us. Sorry. Oh, uh, <laughs> I, I, I must have done something wrong. Hello, Sam. Sorry, no. <laughs> All right, well, I guess he hung up. That's okay. I, 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 you know, I'll call no, him Mark. Back. I, I, think, uh, you I, just, I just made you to blow off the, the WFLA, whatever it is, KL2 in uh, El Monte, California, right? It's the K in the west of the Mississippi. 
I, I think I don't. I think Cedar's show goes on for hours. So this is just only Kmart right? in uh, El Monte, California. <laughs> I don't know. I think I think I just blew it, Sam. I don't know who that. I forget, I don't. I'm trying to see what what it was. Doesn't I heard matter. that uh, Louis. I heard that Louis uh, g- gave you a plug. Gave your show a plug on uh, Howard the other day. Oh, did he? I don't. I know somebody said that he was on there and he mentioned me. I don't know what he said. Yeah, and then um, uh, I, I, I find that hard to believe that you weren't, uh, t- you know, go frantically telling Louie to plug the show, but if that's what you... Oh, yeah, 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 he's, yeah, you can really do that with Louie. Yeah, that's <laughs> something that happens in the real world. You can just call Louie up and, you know, and tell him to, to plug your show. Well, if you call him six no. months in advance, sometimes I find that works. Yeah, I've texted him Maybe. and they're like, "Let's get a drink." Because he was living around the corner from me. Let's get a drink. And literally, like three months later, he's like, uh, "You want to do it tonight?" Like literally, just nothing for three months, and then a random. Yeah, let's go. Is let's that what go. he said? Yeah, more or less. Let's do it. And then I so, text uh, him and I didn't hear from him another three months. No, I, yeah, I, I hope he said nice things. You know, look, I'm, I'm excited. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm just going to try to to live with that and uh, and and hope that um, everything goes well. Uh, you know, and I hope that I can do more. You know, what are you doing with your house? Are you buying a new house? What do you? I mean, what uh, what 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 accoutrements besides buying a bunch of albums and uh, tweeting about them? Uh, are you using with your newfound largesse? Well, you know, I, I'm a comic, so, like, I come from a life of, like, if I have money, I save it, because that means, like, you know, maybe I can string it out when, when I'm going to need it. But, yeah, we're looking for a house. We almost bought this one. What do you mean, we? But you and your mean, girlfriend are buying a house together? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She needs another bathroom, apparently. I, I don't, are I don't, you guys engaged? I, I, Is this going to be number three or what? Probably. Really? Yeah. Well, you know what they say. Three's a charm. They also say so. three strikes and you're out. <laughs> so, yeah, they, they say it both. Certainly those. go either way. Yeah, they certainly go either way. But uh, yeah, I mean, and so we almost bought a house, and then I, I kind of freaked out and thought it was too expensive and pulled out at the last minute. I don't know how to do grown up things, Sam. Oh come I, you on! Know, if it were if it were up to me, I would just stay in my house that I'm in now for the rest of my life. Well, it's not uh, a bad house. I, but, huh? It's not a bad house. Are you like uh, superstitious that if you get a new garage, you're gonna Lose some of the magic. Yeah, yeah. No, I, all those fears are there, but but apparently it's just not big enough. And I'm working out of the house, and we only have one bathroom. And like, look, I bought my first house because uh, you know I was with a, a woman who who taught who told me that you you can just buy a house. Oh, they're calling back. Hold on. Okay. Only on the show, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> only on the show. Hey, if you got any uh, questions you want me to ask, uh... hey, Sam. Yeah. Sam. Yeah. It's uh, it's uh, it's the lady from the Daily Beast. I'm gonna go do it. Is that all right? The lady from the Daily Beast, dude. Are you kidding? Do you know how many hits those people get? They they're they're bankrupt, aren't they? Do they even exist anymore? All right. On the verge. Uh, it, it, I, I Who? Love Who's the writer? And we're Who's the writer? Whole, we're we're gonna do a, a whole episode soon, and and the second season of Marin. There's going to Who's be the writer? Who's the writer? I don't know. She's in El Monte, California. What's She's her name? I'll she, find out for you. And she I'll can wait. Listen, back. I got news for you. You go and you uh, scuttle back to uh, the other line. She's going to think you're less important than you are. It's a fairly old uh, technique in Hollywood, buddy. You don't just immediately jump back to her. All right. Now, I don't. I don't think there's any indication I should take show business advice from you. All right. I, 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 Hold on one second. Give me uh, a movie what? recommendation. A movie recommendation? Yeah. Uh, uh, um, I would. W- w- why not rewatch the last detail with Jack Nicholson? Okay, that's a good one. All right, I'll talk to you soon. All right, bye. All right, bye. All right, folks. Look for uh, Mark Maron's uh, piece coming out in the, the Daily Beast by some lady, apparently who is must be really important. Was it Tina Brown? Who is it that owns that thing? That- <laughs> Is, is Tina Brown now living in El Monte, California? Wow. Well, you heard it right here, folks. Um, if Mark Marin has any integrity, 
uh, I will be on a two-part episode of um, two-part episode of uh, Marin, I guess, in the non-existent second season. <laughs>